Hi guys, Paul here, and this is the follow-up video to the long-awaited Bolt 250, and this is Thomas's final build of the actual multi-rotor. Uh, what we have at the rear end, we have the video transmitter, uh, so that's pretty much tucked in towards the rear end of the actual multi-rotor. We also have our power cable and the XT60 connector, so that'll connect up through towards the rear of the airframe. And internally, we have the D4R2 mounted there uh, just below the top plate towards the rear of the airframe and the antennas stick out towards the uh, rear of the aircraft. So what we have in the midsection is the flight controller, the NACE32, and directly below it, we have the power distribution board and that tucks in nicely between the uh, bottom plate and the mid plate of the actual multi-rotor. And it's actually quite nice because you can tuck away a lot of the wires there. As you can see, we have our ESCs there tucked away. This is the SN20 ESCs that we're using running BL Halley. And the top plate you can see is different to the original top plate we actually had. Uh, this is a new top plate that has a cutout for the camera, which is fantastic because you can get decent tilt on the camera without looking at the actual top plate itself. As far as cameras, we're using the HS1177 and we're also using Volo LEDs on this multi-rotor. And as far as the motors go, we're using T-Motor. These are the 2204 motors. Uh, they're 2300 kV, decent motors. These quite like the actual uh, finish and build on these motors. So that's pretty much what we're actually running with this multi -rotor. We're also using HQ5045 props on this frame. Uh, underneath, you can see how neat it actually is with the wires there tucked in nice and neatly. Now, Thomas has also put some pads underneath just so it doesn't damage the actual carbon. They're just little soft uh, rubber foam pads. And that's pretty much the quad completed. Now, as far as the frame goes, it's light. It's uh, quite stiff. So uh, all in all, the build actually went together quite nicely. So what we'll do now is actually cut to some flight footage of its maiden flight. Uh, Thomas was flying in an area where he's not familiar, so um, hence he's not going all out or anything like that. And this video was a few weeks ago too but it still gives you a good indication of uh, the Bolt's uh, performance. So anyway, what we'll do is cut to the flight footage now. Okay, we have the Bolt 250. Uh, we've done some PID tuning. Yes. So um, how is it looking at the moment? We're gonna see how it goes with this flight. We've done some more adjustments, haven't we? Yeah, uh, we're mainly just doing rate um, and expo adjustments right now because the pins themselves are actually really good. So we're running similar pins to what we were running before, weren't we? Yeah, I think they're default actually. No, they won't. We've changed them. We yeah. have to change them. Okay. We're similar to what the Minion was running. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So we're good to uh, make it happen? Yeah. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> Okay, how does she feel at the moment? It's really good. The throttle's still a little bit too reactive for my liking, so I'm going to need a bit more throttle expo. But, it is really nice. Does she still feel locked in? Oh yeah. How's the wind at the moment? Because it's getting quite breezy. Uh, well, the pits are working a bit harder than normal, but... Still smooth? Yeah. Pretty good roll rate. Yeah, I can see when you punch on the throttle, she puts on too much, doesn't she? Yeah. So we need a bit more throttle curve. So more people coming down the path. So stay away from the path. Yeah. Oh, it's quite nice. It is really good at reacting. You know, I might actually try something and put a bit of B gain in, just to make it a bit more. Has it got a bit of bounce? I don't know. At the end of it? I can't tell really, because it happens really quickly.
So there you have it. That was the maiden of the Bolt 250. So your thoughts, initial thoughts? It's wonderful. This is probably the <laughs> third pack, is it? Um, third pack we've done in total. This is the second 4S pack we've done. A lot of them were like, uh, what were they? Probably about 20 second flights uh, or thereabouts, weren't they? Because we kept coming back and adjusting our PIDs, didn't we? Yeah. This so, is the first time I've done a whole battery without landing. So that was his first full battery on it. Um, so far, so good. Oh, yeah. So what do you think? I love it. <laughs> Anyway, over the next few weeks, we'll have some more videos of the Bolt and some more uh, flights with it. So uh, we'll leave this video at that. Thanks very much for taking time to watch this video and we'll catch you guys later. See ya.